It's the Lux Face Ripping Prime Time. Hey! What's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the 3 Zero Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Optimus Prime. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at. In the packaging, right up front, we have a lovely image that we need to rise to see. A lovely image there of Optimus Prime, Transformers, Transformers The Last Night. Hey, look, it's from a movie on this side, Last Night Optimus Prime, on this side, Last Night Optimus Prime, on top, Transformers Last Night Optimus Prime, on the bottom, words, things, barcodes, on the back of the box. You have some more obligatory product shots of Optimus Prime. Nice Autobot symbol right there. Legal mumbo jumbo. And you open up the front flap. You have more images of Optimus Prime. And in here is the tray where the figure sits. And guess what? His name is Optimus Prime. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Deluxe Optimus Prime from 3-0 as he appeared in Transformers The Last Nights. And, as always, a fantastic looking piece here from 3-0. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at those abs, but at the noggin. Oh, there's a noggin. You can see a wonderfully, wonderfully done head sculpt there. Love the silver, the metallic blue. Just fantastic detailing there. Again, just really well done, as only 3-0 can do. They just do fantastic work on their figures here. Sculpting and their paintwork is just always on points. But it looks really good. Moving down to the chest piece, getting the nice metallic blue in there. Got the flames going on. Get lots of molded detail, lots of nice silver coloration. Get some bits of gold in there throughout as well. Get the Autobot symbol right there, front and center. Got the shoulder pads. Can love the metallic blues. Really pops. Got those hip skirt pieces. You can see the fists there. Again, all the coloration, all the detail. You got the little hoses here. And these are bendy. And moving down the legs. Lots of wonderful, wonderful detail there. You got the little Cybertronian markings going down the legs. Again, some more of that nice flame work. His big old feet. Some big old beautiful feet. Even the bottoms have detail, which they really don't have to do, but hey, they even detail the bottoms of their feet. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Moving up the back. Nicely detailed. Nicely painted calves. Love that gold that really pops, as well as the red. Got the prime booty. And again, a lot of nice detail there on the back. You got the smokestacks there. With that nice kind of, you know, kind of burnt coloration going on in there. Looks absolutely fantastic. Now, articulation-wise, as always, these figures have a ton of articulation. Um, the head is on a ball joint, so you can do your... Hey, your head is on a ball joint, so you can do some wiggly waggly. The neck itself is also on a ball joint, so all of that can wiggle waggle around. You can look up, do total squirrel. Can look down. A uh, head can rotate. You can't get a full 360 because these collar pieces do get in the way, but that's pretty much as far as you can go. Had a piece just fall off. That's okay. That's supposed to come off, but it falls off pretty easily though. But anywho, head can do that as far as the arms. They can rotate. Now you do have to be mindful of the shoulder pads. But the arms can rotate, they can do a full 360, they can move in and out. As you can see, these shoulder pads can move out of the way to accommodate that. You can see they are on hinges, they move independently, and this can rotate as well. So you can get everything out of the way, so you can get all that arm movement. Uh, the shoulders themselves, you can move this little piece out of the way. Shoulders themselves can move forward and back also. Um, you have bicep rotation, moving on down. What else have we got? I'll tell you what else we got. We got a double jointed elbow. So you have good range of movement there. Um, the fists are on a ball joint. So you have your wiggly waggly. Um, you can move these little panels out of the way here. You do have side to side movement here. 
on the upper torso. You do have ab crunch as well. And as always, when you engage that ab crunch, you get even more detail that gets revealed here. And that looks great. Um, you know, this piece likes to fall off. Well, I'll just put this off to the side. Uh, we do have a waist rotation. It is a bit limited, though. That's pretty much as far as you're going to get. Um, as far as the legs go, um, these little pieces can move out of the way. They're on ball joints, so sometimes they can pop off if you're not careful, but you can shift those out of the way. These skirt pieces also, this part is on double hinge, so that can move out of the way as well. The hip itself is on a double joint. You can shift the whole leg down if you need to, like that. And you can get that leg pretty much, if you use all those joints at your disposal, you can get that leg all the way up. And as far as back goes, you can't get it back too far. Outward, you can get almost the full splits. You get thigh rotation, and oops, you're going to pop things off also. That's okay. We'll pop things off. It's all right. Pop things off. You get a double jointed knee there. You have nice range of movement. The feet, they can move up. So panel here will also move out of the way. Um, they can move down a little bit. You get rotation. You get ankle tiltage. And you also get a toe joint. Okay, so full disclosure here, this panel here didn't pop off. It actually broke off. I did glue it back on. It's fine now, but yeah, be careful with this little panel here next to his knee. Be careful. Now, as far as accessories go, he includes his shield, which of course looks fantastic. Love the detail, love the paintwork. Has nice weathering on it. So it's kind of dingy and dirty and grimy. Like it's been through a couple scraps. And even the back is nicely detailed. Lovely looking piece. You also get his sword, his mighty sword. And again, detail, paintwork, all of it on point. You get the Cybertronian markings there going down the blade, done in black. The blade itself is bendy. Now, this central portion, the central portion is hard plastic, but the blade itself is bendy. So you don't have to worry about breaking it. But a lovely, lovely looking sword. You do also get the arm blade. Again, nicely done. You get a mouth plateless mouth. And we'll show off how that goes on in a little bit. We also get a replacement forearm piece. Again, I'll show you how that works in a bit. We get... Various brackets for our weapons. We get these two here for the sword. We get these two here, which are for the shield. And we also get some extra hands here. We get a pair of just splayed out open, no, or jazz hands, however you want to look at them. But again, nice detail there, nice paintwork. You also get a pair of sword holding hands as well as a pair of just relaxed open hands and of course we get the display base which is pretty much the same base that we get with all of these three zero figures transformers the last night optimus prime right there on the base the arm is adjustable you can extend the length angle it however you want and you just come back here you remove uh prime's little butt plug and it just Plugs right in, like so, and Optimus can now stand nice and sturdy. Now, as far as weapon storage, we have a few options. We can remove this back piece right here, and we can use this piece by itself. That just plugs right in, and then we can take the sword and just slide it in just like that. And of course, you can angle that however you wish, but if you don't want to do that, you can also store the shield on his back and you're going to use this piece right here. You want to make sure the tab is on the outside. So you can just plug that in and just store the shield on his back like so. And if you want to store the sword and the shield on his back, you're going to use this piece right here and that will plug in right there. And then you can just slide the sword on and you can have everything stored on his back. You have the option and as always options are good. And another thing we can do is we can remove this forearm panel here. It helps if you remove this piece first, just so you have some room to operate. Just get up on here and just 
pop this off and you replace it with this piece that has a port cut into it. And you can see now you have access to this port. So two things you can do. You can take the arm blade here and just plug that in like that. Obviously you want to uh, attach this little hand piece again so everything looks nice and complete. But you got the forearm blade going on, or if you don't want to do that, you can have him wielding his shield. You just bring in the shield. You're going to bring in this section right here. You want to make sure that this post is one that is facing out. So plug that in, plug that into his forearm, and there you go. Now he can wield the shield. Now, as far as the sword holding hands go, the trick is you have to remove the thumb. It's just pegged on, so remove the thumb. And then you can take the sword and just wedge it into place. The fingers are are flexible, so I usually just kind of roll the handle of the sword into his hand like that. And once you do that, you then take the thumb and drop it because your thumbs don't work. But just take that and plug it in like so. And the hands are very easy to swap. They're just on ball joints. You also want to make sure you remove this little hand guard piece and plug it onto the new hand, then it's just simply a case of pop it off, pop that on, and voila, he is now wielding his weapons. And the last thing to talk about is the light up feature, and to access the battery compartment, you're just going to uh, remove the top of his head here, and you want to undo, there's a little screw right back here that you have to undo, so you can remove that panel, and it takes two LR44s, which are not included, you'll have to get those yourself, you can get them cheap on Amazon, and then you just push on his head crust, and boop, his eyes will glow a nice, bright blue, and oh, actually, there's one more feature we have to talk about, we have to talk about his mouth, that's right, we have mouth features, <laughs> we have mouth options, we can remove the mouth plate, and replace it with the plateless mouth and we can have that look going on as well so as always options they're good you know it so there you have that and now for comparison here he is with the uh, toy world last night prime so you can see how that works out here he is with the unique toys version here he is with the 3-0 Deluxe Last Night Bumblebee. So you can see how these two look side by side. And they look quite good together. Although I think Bumblebee should be a little shorter, I think. I'm not sure. But it looks like he should be shorter. He might should be. He might should be. He might should be shorter. Grammar. Who cares? <laughs> Now, unfortunately, I don't have my big 3-0 Last Night Prime. It's in storage. I didn't have the chance to get it out of storage, so sorry you're not going to see that comparison. But we know those big figures there, they're big, way bigger than this. But if you want a, a measurement here, Prime to the top of his head stands at about 11 and a quarter inches tall. So definitely this version is, uh, is more space-friendly and more wallet-friendly. So there you go. So there you have Optimus Prime, and uh, yeah, fantastic figure, absolutely fantastic. As always, 3-0 just knocks these figures out of the park. The detail, the paintwork, the articulation, all of it is just wonderfully done. These things are, these things are true masterpieces. These things are just works of art. Uh, the only real grievances I have is that little panel on the top of his back that just likes to fall off really easily. That gets kind of annoying. Um, be very careful with those little panels on the inside of his knees because you don't want to break those off like I did. Remember, these aren't mainline toys. You know, these are high-end figures. So yeah, now you have to, you know, be, be careful with them. These are not meant for rough housing, you know, <laughs> so exercise a bit of caution when you're messing with these. But all in all, a fantastic, fantastic piece, and I am very pleased with it. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Three Zero's other offerings, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Three Zero playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the three zero Transformers: The Last Night Deluxe Optimus Prime. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face.
Jiménez. What? What do you mean I look weird? I'm fine. No, I mean, it's perfectly all right to be worried, but I mean, what, what do you think is going to happen? I'm going to turn evil or something and try to kill everybody? I mean, come on now. No, Bumblebee, my little annoying yellow friend. Trust me, I don't have an evil bolt in my body. Come on now. I'm fine. You're fine. We're all fine. Everything is fine. Unless you cross me, then I will rip your face off.